G'day folks, Andy here from McDowell Manor. This is my regular box. This is hired was a test box, she had a hired was full. I was ready to collect honey. I put a, a, a soup, honey sugar made for that on that. The whole intent is to get honey without killing bees. Right for the seal, they'll be capped. They have to be punctured to release the honey. That simply punctures it. But I don't want to release the honey. Now, there are two ways of, of, of releasing that. Uh, it can just be tipped into, tipped over. The honey's fairly runny and, and allowed to drain. Uh, and for most people, that's all I need. One of them and those frames. But of course, me being me, I like to do things a little bit more elaborate. So, this is a, a copy, well, a, a, a modification of a very old honeybee frame, uh, an extractor. Uh, and made locally, Brendale. So, the intent is to remove the honey using the stripper source. And there's a tank down there. So it simply gets poured out. Uh, and we are about to find out how it works. Or, do, or doesn't it? Normally I would have done the honey first, but we'll do the split first. But the, the honey the honey is quite easy it is quite easy in this case. So I should get out there wet because I dipped this 3D printed, printed plastic in stainless <coughs> bee wax first. Now we'll see what we've got in here. Heap of bees. I'm very full. Now, one thing that these little guys do, if they've got the space, they're not interested in attacking anything, they just want to get away. The design said I should have five, five, or around four, four millimetres down the side, but I've obviously been a bit pushed with that and they've been pushed for storage space and they even put honey down the side so they haven't followed the rules. <laughs> but having said that, we don't know what the rules are for these guys because uh, ha honeybees have had several hundred years 200 years they've been working on frames for them. So with the uh, native honeybees, what's the collection radius? 500 metres. What I'd normally been able to do is to get underneath and lift. Proving to be a little bit of a challenge. Coming. So is there three leases there or just two? Ten million dollars. Just the two. That's two and a lot of bees. Now, where do I put my... There we go. Oh my God, the honey is very thin. And I think what we need to, to do and learn is to do this very soon after they fill. 
вот. It's an exercise. An exercise in trying to keep bees out of honey. Because once you get a smooth honey surface, these little guys want to fly into it. See what they've done in, in between here. So, what, what do you call this? What do you call what you're holding? Is this? Well, I'm I'm just calling it a frame. frame. Mm -hmm. But what these guys have done is fill it up, totally full. They have squeezed every drop they can into it. We need to be able to. Now it's full. Take it out when it's full. So many bees on that still box. Mm. On the, other on the side. back side. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. I I do try to minimise honey bee loss, but how do you get that frame out? Pardon? That one. How do you get that out? I just hand in. And oh, this whole side slides up. Yeah. Yeah. So by the time. And I guess. We still end up with a. I need. I can see. I need something different. Forgive me licking my fingers. <laughs> Don't waste it. So I'm videotaping a world first here, Bob. Yep. Mm -hmm. Absolute, yeah. Absolutely world first, and there's honey in the tank. Beauty. Beautiful. Clean honey in the tank, mind too, mind you. The little bees are stuck to the wire in there, are they? <laughs> well, they they're hanging on. <laughs> they hang around. They'll, around. They'll, 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 come they'll, out. they'll think they're at the exhibition. <laughs> the thing that I'm not sure of is what happens to the frame next. Mm -hmm. When you take honey out of uh, a honey pot, bees will pull the whole thing down and store the serum somewhere. Mm -hmm. I think on the side walls. But because this is a, a man-made frame, you're not quite sure how they'll actually handle the man-made frame. And I don't know. So we just pop it back, you think, and they'll take it apart or fix it? <coughs> I'm just not hundred percent sure whether I've got as much as I can out of that. I might, I might just have to give it a bit more speed. I might have to talk to my engineering friend and say, we need gears or a motor. <laughs> <laughs> <Great. laughs> Bob, if you don't have the centrifuge, can you harvest the honey easily? You don't, all you'd have to do is to puncture it and drain it. Mm -hmm. 